okay so today uh, we are doing a very simple uh, AutoCAD to the basic drawing okay so this is the work that you are supposed to do let's try and understand the work then after we try to put down the sketch okay so as usual I just have to analyze it first so now let's see um, this side of the drawing we can see a drawing and a circle here two circles the inner one then the outer one now the outer one is showing us a radius of 15 okay and if you come here to the same thing over here it is showing a radius of 15 and this is saying 5 times 14 so which means the six circles 1 2 3 4 5 5 of them the diameter of each of them is 14 so these five circles they have one diameter which is 14 and we can see another arc here this one radius of 15 okay now this uh, angle there's an angle between this and this and the angle is 45 degrees we will see how you do that and then we have um, a radius of uh, this arc over here which is 105 and then this line the center of this arc mm -hmm. is giving us a radius of 90 okay so let's start from this side by drawing two circles one 15 radius and the other one 14 diameter okay so you open autocad you select the circle command we draw a circle one the diameter if you want the diameter you click on the diameter diameter of 14 mm you can zoom and then a radius you select the circle again you select a radius of 15 okay i think that's what we are given so 15 and 14 now there's a distance okay so we will not use the distance we will actually use the uh, the angle okay so where it will be that is where we are going to draw this okay, so let's draw a straight line from here let's just draw a straight line okay we will need another line for the angle so we select the now autocad read the angle anticlockwise it goes this way so now we want an angle of 45 over here so when we enter a positive 45 meaning it will calculate from zero which is starting from here and goes this way so from zero one two three are 45 so it will be somewhere here but we want it to go in the opposite direction which goes this way so we will enter we will use your shifts and then your less than sign then you enter you want an angle of 45 you enter negative 45 negative 45 good so it will be there for us now let's make it smaller and then put it here now to be sure you can just go for the dimension the angular and then you check you can see we have an angle of 45 good now let's see we have a circle or the center line radius 90 okay so let's draw a circle with the radius of 90 circle radius of 90 to get there okay so this one will help us to draw those smaller circles okay to help us to draw this one because this this is the radio the circle with the radius 90 to help us to get this ones okay so we have one here diameter 14 let's quickly draw it here so we have a circle we can type d and enter 14 good so that is it now we can see from this side okay so from here now we have everything so remaining the circle okay let's draw the circle this one is gone let's draw it again with diameter of 14 mm okay now let's before we draw this circle let's rather draw it at the top here 
let's draw the circle here at this meeting point good so that uh, it will be easy so 14 now we need to spread these circles along this line okay we need four numbers over here so what we can do is we need we have a a two called polar array so you can see it on the modify to uh, you go there you see select polar array now when you select polar array to ask you to select object so we select this one and then you press enter now after pressing enter it ask you to specify the center point so this is our center point okay now it will fill these circles with the default settings so to change it now how many items do we need that is the number of circles count one two three four we need four okay so you enter four here and the angle that we are also dealing with the angle is 45 degrees so you have to enter the angle 45 so when you come here the angle is 360 so you just put in 45 and then it would be there for you so when you finish you just click close and now we have it now we have to trim the ones we don't need so let's use a trim command trim this line we don't need this one and this we can leave this one later we can draw it okay so this is what we have by looking at the drawing see there's another circle here radius 15 so let's draw that one circle radius of 15 there's another one to here you can copy this one if you want to you can also draw nice copy it from here good so now we have it now let's draw the outer arc with radius of 105 so circle and just enter a radius of 105 we press enter now to be there okay now let's try and trim all the unnecessary lines that we don't need before we continue so select the trim command get off this one and then you can even delete this line as well okay you let leave it you can trim these ones you don't need them okay now let's uh, see we have there's an arc here with the radius 45 so for that one you have to it's tangent to this and that so you just select the tan tan radius click here click here it's 45 radius 45 so you enter the 45 okay when you come here this is a straight line okay so with a straight line is very simple you just go for the line command now this is quadrant you can just join it to it and then it will be fine Okay, so let's trim the unnecessary. You don't need this line anymore. This one too. You don't need it. You don't need this also. Now we have to trim this inside. Let's see this one to not go. Okay, so finally, this is what is required of us, and it has been done perfectly checking everything everything is well done if you want to make it more nice you can just go to your line width and then you have the work done now thank you for watching and then we hope you learn a new thing kindly subscribe and then like the video for more tutorials like this